What's up guys? This is Mad Squash 924 here and welcome back to another episode of some Fallout 3. Last episode, what did we do today? Well, last week. Um basically we met 3 Dog we when we were on our way to travel to Rivet City. We also did some more things for Moira. More or less that's what we did. Um and that's what we're going to continue on doing. In this episode, we're going to continue working for Moira and go to uh, Rivet City. We'll learn about some of the history. And we also, we also can find some information about where um, Squash's father is. Without further ado, we'll get back into role-playing as Squash now. Well, can't believe that guy attacked me. Can't believe it. All I did was turn off his radio. That was crazy. Ugh. Oh well. Ugh, something's nearby. What is it? Is it a raider? It's, oh, it's a super mutant. Well, we know they're evil now. So we can, um, take them out, I suppose. Even though I'd rather not, if I could help it. Hello? Danger. Are they holding someone hostage? Saw something on my pit boy. That kind of inferred that they were holding someone hostage. Well. Oh. Oh. Okay. Let's switch to the hunting rifle. That we have been hauling this whole time. We have so many of them. Oh, there's a guy up there. Get out of here! Whoa! I'm not little, you're little. Well, I mean, I am little. You're right. I'm sorry, I have to take you guys out. You guys are killing people, apparently. And that's not cool. That reminds me of writer things. Except maybe you guys are redeemable, I'm not sure. Well, he's dead. Oh, I can't believe I killed another man. I mean, he did look like a monster. But, what can you do? Wow, he's very hidden. Broke his gun. Are you done? Oh! Guess he's gonna shoot me. I don't think you have any bullets, guy. Look at what he's doing. What is he doing? Wait, you have someone hostage? Bastards. They don't like that. I'm here to help the people. If you guys are just holding people hostage, I guess I will uh, find and take you guys out. Man, these guys are tough. I'm, I'm coming. I just gotta get rid of this super mutant that's trying to hurt you. There we go. I love them. Oh, there's another one. Pick out his leg. Can't be having you hurting civilians. And if that's what you guys are into, then I'm not into you. I thought before they were just trying to you know, defend their territory, but apparently they're just here to kill people. And I'm not down with that. I'm, I'm coming. What the hell? Oh. These things are monsters.
Oh, shoot. Don't have that many bobby pins. Of course. Please. Some missiles. Oh, level. Ooh, we level up. Um, let's uh, invest some of our small guns because we are using guns more, you know. Gun nut. Do we want gun nut? I don't know. Let's see what's on the bottom here. Toughness. I'm pretty sure we've seen all um, these before, or at least a majority of them. Speech and barter. That's not bad. You can also raise gun nut more. Yeah, let's raise gun nut even further, I think. Oh, well, 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 Raider. You were probably sleeping, I get it. You're a Raider too. Well, yeah. You're dead now. At least they're killing bad people. As long as they're killing bad and good people, that's fine. But uh, good people, that's not okay. Hello, sir. I mean, miss. Are you okay? The super mutants have bound the captive for transportation. The ropes are digging into her wrists. She's obviously suffered from their abuse. Untie her. I'm... I'm alive. I can't believe it. I'm alive. Here, I managed to hide this stuff before they tied me up. You take it. It's the best I can do to thank you. Um, um, nah, I think you'll need it more than I will. Um, you don't seem you have much. Um, but thank you for offering. I'm just glad I could, I was here to save another person, you know? Okay, if you say so. I can't Definitely. thank you enough, stranger. You're welcome. Be careful. Oh, I should have asked her where Rivet City is. Shit. I forgot to ask. Oh well. We'll just have to keep following our pit boy for information where Rivet City is. Let's take an hour nap. We're pretty hurt. Oh, it feels pretty good. I feel a lot better now. Always take naps. Wow, that's a lot of ammo. Lots of stuff. Line congregational style. Our speech goes up. Very cool. Ooh. Nice. Look at all this good stuff. Stupid super mutants. That's broken for sure. And it weighs a ton. Yeah. I don't think I want to pick that up. Is there anything else around here? Any more captives? Oh man, more gore bags. Gross. Well, at least I know for sure now that the super mutants are definitely bad and they're not just trying to defend homes. They're eating people, clearly. It's almost as bad as raiders, but raiders do more disgusting things than just killing and eating people. My father never told me about this, the super mutants. I didn't know they existed, to be fair. But I guess we are learning. Anything else we can fix up? So we don't have as much, you know, space to work. Well, so we have more space to work with, I mean. Eh, that looks good. Nice statue. A man with pure potential, that one. Look at this place. That's a huge boat. Yep, that's a boat. Speed, speed limit 25. Well, I don't have a car. Quite frankly, I don't even have a driver's license. I'm only 19 after all. Of course, I don't think anyone else has a driver's license in this place either. Rivet City! Oh, he made it! Hello! Welcome, welcome! My name is Crow, and I travel the land offering vestments of protection. And you oh. are fortunate I found you in time. You bear oh, the you. look of one who is haunted, but I am proud uh, to yes. say that my wares can protect you from even the cruel claws of death itself. Have a look. 
Sure. I'll, I'll take a look. Have a look. See if anything calls Thank out you. to you. Um, these stim packs, they're just calling out to me, you know? We have a lot of, like, armor and stuff. We could get rid of some stuff we don't need at this point, though. Which is, I think, fair. Like this, um, laser pistol. I don't think, oh, actually, no, we could use both of these still. They use different ammo types, apparently. Didn't realize that. We can sell this, though, because we have a hunting rifle, and it does the same, pretty much. We don't need 16 grenades. How many? We sell six. We can sell three of these, because I just want to keep ten on me at all times, you know? A lot of hunting rifles, but we're going to use them to repair our thing anyway, so. Cool cue. We don't really need that. Post grenade might become handy at some point. Drugs. Let's sell our drugs. Oh, let's sell the Mentats for sure. Um. A pleasure doing okay. business with you. And with you, Mr. Crow. Stay safe on the path you travel. I travel to Rivet City. This. Hello. How are you? Is she shy? She looks very shy because she's very far away. Why aren't you looking at me? Eh, whatever. Wow, Rivet City is pretty small. Unless well, this is in Rivet City. I mean, it says it's Rivet City. Oh, they must be talking about the boat. Ah, makes sense. Hello, Can sir. You help me. I need water. Purified water, please. Um, I I have purified water. Here you go. Are you serious? I, I can't offer sure. anything in exchange, you know. I, no, I can it's fine. Have, I can just have it? For free? Uh, for free, my friend. Um, I, I just want to help out, you know? I'm, I'm a, peop a person of the people, one would say. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much. You've saved my life. Bless you. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, how do I get over there? What's this thing? Ah, an intercom. Welcome to Rivet City. Please wait while the bridge extends. Waiting while the bridge extends. Waiting while the bridge extends. Bridges is extending for me. Fancy. Pretty cool place. Hold it right there. State sure. your business in Rivet City. Um, I'm I'm looking for my father. And who might your father be? If he lives on this boat, I know him. Oh, um, you know, you might you just might know him, but um uh I don't remember his name. I only know him by dad. That's his name. His name is Dad. Um, but he, he doesn't live here either. Um you know, he lived in the vault his whole life. Oh yeah? And I'm a fairy princess. You keep wow. up this smart ass attitude, and you're gonna wind up floating face down in the river. What is it like being a fairy princess? Is it is it is it fancy? I mean, I never met a fairy princess before, I'm just saying, Mr. Dude with the gun pointed at my face, but if I did, I'm sure he would look just like you. Um, but he doesn't live here. Um as you may have guessed. Um, but uh, Dr. Lee knows of where his whereabouts. Dr. Lee, eh? Well, yes. then I guess you'd have to ask Dr. Lee for more information. Go on up, then. She's probably in the science lab. But keep your nose okay. clean. You hear me? Uh, sure. I'll do that. By the way, um, Moira sent me from Megaton. I'm sure you've heard of Megaton City, yes? I'll take that as a yes. Um, but do you know of Rivet City's history? I'm doing it for a book. I don't exactly have time to worry about the history around here, now do I? I've got to worry about what's happening on it now. Sure. Okay, um, I don't know what my way around inside the boat. Can you tell me what's around? I suppose. Cool. Um, who's in charge? It doesn't work like that. 
I'm in charge of security. Dr. Lee sure. runs most of everything else. Oh. Bannon kind of represents the merchants. He also owns Potomac Attire. Potomac Attire. I'll probably visit him. Well, thank Carry you. Carry on, then. What a nice gentleman. Besides the fact that he's pointing a gun at my face. Hello. Hey there. Hello. Marketplace. Uh, stairwell. Let's go and pinpoint um, the Wasteland Survival Guide. I say to go out here. Whatever. Ooh, don't want my gun out. That'd be awkward. Damn, people would probably be um, irritated that I have a gun out. Don't want to do that. Well, this place is pretty nice. It's pretty lovely. Um, you have nice filing cabinets, I must say. Hello. Hello. They call me Shrapnel. I run this place. They call me Squash. Got the best damn armament you'll ever see. Dude, that's crazy. Um, I might buy some guns and ammo if uh, you what have you some. For? I don't know. What do you got? What do you got, my friend? You have a fat man. That's crazy. I've shot a fat man before. Did, did you know that? But yeah, I'm, I'm a pretty good shot with him. Ammunition, huh? What are we low on? We don't need 308 caliber bullets right now. We could use these. We could always use these as well. Don't really need any. Oh, uh, we could sell our mini nukes. Yeah. We're not using any anything like, you know, a fat man or anything, so why not? I would like to buy a shotgun rounds. That'd be freaking sick. Um What else do we want then? Since he's still offering sorta. Give me a there shot we go. if you need anything else. Can you, uh, can you tell me about Rivet City's history, Shrapnel? I'm sure you're very knowledgeable. History? Fuck if I know. Hell, fuck if I care. Oh, um, okay. That's great. Um, you guys sure know your history. Come back soon. We always got a lot of ammo in stock. Yeah, I saw that. That's why I bought a bunch Let of it. Let me or a security officer know if you see anything. Hello. Else. This here is Flack and Shrapnel's gun shop. Pretty catchy, yeah, huh? I, I met, Take a look around. Yeah. If you see anything you like, I'll be right over here. Okay. Um. Um. Can you fix my si my uh, stuff no for me, sir? No problem at all. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Good to have a kind gentleman in here. Do you know about the history of Rabbit City? Possibly. Fred, I can't help you, pal. Been here for years, Why? but all I know about the history is that it's a safe place to settle down. Maybe Bannon can help you out. He sure acts like he Bannon. knows it all. If you need more okay. ammo, this is where to get it. The ordinary. That's fair, Flack. That's very fair. Who is Bannon? Put down my attire. Welcome. Oh, Welcome you're Bannon. Welcome to Potomac Attire. I am Bannon, proprietor and city council member. I and carry I discriminating squash. attire for discriminating customers. Wait, what? You, you're discriminating me? Are you telling me I'm not good enough to shop here? That's not what I meant. What I meant was that my goods are of the highest quality, which I assume oh. is what you're looking for. Oh, I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. Um, so, um... You're on the city council, Dr. then. Dr. Lee, Chief Harkness, and I are all on the council. We meet every Monday morning. Yes. I can be oh. very influential, if you know what I mean. Far more than Seagrave Holmes. Oh, that's fair. Um, who is Seagrave? Um, is he, like, threatening the town's peace or something? A threat? No, of course not. Well, maybe. He wants to replace me on the council. He's a shady ah. character. I just can't prove it. Now, if someone were to find something incriminating in his room, well, let's just say I would be very appreciative. Oh, I see. Um, I, can, I might be able to do that for you, I suppose. Um, we'll be hush-hush about it, of course. So, um, 
What do you know about the history of River City? I'm, I mean, you're on the city council. I would assume you would know stuff, you know, Bannon? Why, I practically set this whole place up. When I got here 12 years Good. ago, it was just a handful of dead-enders squatting in a rusted-out rowboat. Now I'm on the council, and with my leadership, we're the strongest settlement in the wastes. Of course, a few of those dead-enders still stick around, but who'd want to leave? Right, of course. But, like, River City's been longer than, like... It's, it's been around longer for than 12 years, you know? Like, I imagine. So, like, I mean, like, before. What's the history before, um, when you transform it into the city it is today? Well, yes, but it was hardly any place of importance until I arrived on the scene. That's all ancient history right. now. No one would ever care about it. If you insist on wasting your time on that, you could try that bartending old crone down below, Belle Bonnie. Belle Bonnie. Okay. Sure. I'll check out Bell Come Bonnie. Back soon. Yeah, probably. She's down below. And then, what is this note that the man gave me? Bannon has asked me to search to see Grave Holmes' room to see if I can find anything incriminating about him. Then Bannon can stop him from taking over his council seat. We Welcome should do this. Quick fix. quick fix. You're a drug addict. But you might this have stim packs. Quick fix. Hmm. I mean, that's the name of our shop. Polly and mine, that is. My name is Cindy. Cindy Cantelli. Oh. Well, um, do you have any stim packs or right away for sale? We've got all kinds mm -hmm. of chems. Good. Good, good, good. Oh, good. Right away, yes. I am looking for these manner of things. Um, I'm sure I can sell you something that in return, you know. You know how it goes. I can sell you a couple of these, I suppose. I do have quite a few of them. Hmm. Could sell you some psycho that I don't really need. Some rat away. I'll sell you one more rat away. I mean rat X, excuse me. That's what I meant. Here's some scrap metal, I guess. You can just take it off of my hands. A pleasure doing And I think I'm good. I'm sure you'll be back soon. Probably. <clears throat> now, Bell Barney. Barry's Bally. How do we get to the underside? Um... Upper deck. Well, we want to get below deck, right? Flight deck. No, we don't really want to be on flight deck, I don't think. There must be stairs that lead to the lower sectors, where Bell Bonnie is at, I imagine. It's just going to take some exploration of this, of this little town. Not really a town, but it is a town. Oh, there's a lower section here. Capital Preservation. Oh, sure. Mid-deck. Oh, Seagram sold us a door. It's just here. Let's just, um, save in case something bad happens. Okay. I know this guy, he's... He, I know this is bad and stuff, but, like, I gotta get in here. Okay. Close the door. Now, do we, is there anything incriminating in here? Ah, his terminal. Yeah. I don't know the password to his terminal. Hmm. Foot locker. Ah! Incriminating letter. You've turned on... You've turned us down twice now, Holmes. This is my last appeal. We used to be friends. We used to do business together. All I want is to sell our product in Rivet City. And I'm sure the city would use slaves to help with the rebuilding Paradise of Paradise Falls. Paradise Falls? No, that's not right. Paradise Falls has slaves to sell at a good price. You used to sell me Wastelanders you captured before you got it full of yourself. You aren't as pure as you pretend. Help me, and we can 
both make a nice profit. Eulogy Jones. That is incriminating evidence. And that sounds like a mean little thing you wanted to do. Well, we could talk to Bannon and give him this letter. Slaves is not a cool thing. And that's a thing I've only heard about raiders doing. So, I guess he's not as good as he appeared to be, evening. you know? Oh, good evening. Is it evening? It is. Good evening. I'm looking for troublemakers. Welcome to Potomac hey, Attire. I think I've I, seen uh, you in here before. When you're ready course. to buy, just let me know. Right. Well, um, you I checked out Seagrave's room, right? And um I found the letter and it was uh it was from slavers. They were talking about slavery. The thing that raiders do. Really? I I mean I'm shocked. Shocked yeah, I tell you. I know. Tell Danvers about that letter right away. That will squash any hope he has of replacing me on the council. Don't tell okay. her I asked you to find it though. That would backfire in a nasty way. Right, of course. Um, of course. Um, Danver. Have you seen any? Where would Danver be? I didn't go, even get a, uh... It's Shit. For a Are you Danver? No, you're Cindy. Danver? What nope. You Danver? At? Danver. Shit. Hey. Danver? You're not Danver. Yes. Hey there. Christy? Um... Goodbye. Goodbye, you're not, you're not Danver. Where is Danver? Danver, 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 Danver. Let's just go into the midship deck. We gotta talk to a few different people here. Let's see. Um, that's a church or something? What's this? This leads to lower decks. What the hell? Is it a ghost? Um, what we got? Marketplace, science labs, Catapult Preservation Society. I don't know where Danver is, and I don't know where to get to lower decks. Oh, this must be it. Wow, nobody's like down here, huh? Gotta figure somebody'd be down here. What's this terminal? Preservation Society terminal. Abraham Washington's door? What? Maybe that's where Danver is. Who knows? Let's just go in. Hello? Hello. Quite an impressive collection, isn't it? Well, don't be totally. shy. Have a look around. Abraham oh, Washington's you. the name. Curator of this little slice of American history. Uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's very it's very interesting, sir. You have a fine collection of Nuka-Cola and scrap metal. Ah, a fellow scholar, I see. Yes. Each of the documents in this room tells a small but important story about the history of the United States of America. Unfortunately, oh, okay. the greatest prize of all is missing from the collection. And what would that be, my young one? It could have possibly be the Declaration of Independence? Abraham Lincoln's rifle? His hat? Maybe it's, it's, it's the president's skeleton. Why, yes. Your knowledge of American history is quite impressive. I know, it's quite a big attire of in equipment I have in my arsenal. Be. The original document created by the people for the people. Ah. So, you want me to get the Declaration of Independence and all that, huh? That's all I gotta do? I mean, I'm very, I bet it's burned or something by now. I mean, we are in the nuclear waste after oh, all. Would you? It would mean so much to me and the Society's collection here. Sure, but, um, where could that possibly be, sir? Excellent! You won't regret it, I promise you. Imagine, you are taking part in another chapter of American history. I envy you. Yes, quite right. You can find right. the Declaration of Independence in the ruins of the National Archives. Oh, thank you. Well, if I happen to get around there, um, 
Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go there. But can you show me where to put that in my map here? In the DC ruins, you'll find the National Archives. Or what's left of it, anyway. The oh, building okay. should contain the document in a protective glass case. Be careful. The place is swarming with super mutants. Oh, yeah. of course, Let super mutants. Let me pinpoint its location for you. Please do. Well, um... Do you know the history of Rivet City, possibly? It's funny now that you ask. I can tell you all about the capital, but I really haven't got any idea about Rivet City itself. I can't well, see that's how unfortunate, important it really. is compared to the capital's history, but maybe Bannon might know something. He's in the governing council, after all. Of course, I have asked him, and he was not very helpful, so I, I will be going. Remember, treat the document with care. It's a fragile piece of our history. Of course. Well, we uh, retrieved a quest. Uh, we didn't find Danver, but we did get a quest. But a uh, weird place this place is. Shot. Hello, are you Danver? Nope. Science lab. Don't really want to go to the science lab. Unless Danver's in the science lab. What's this bring us? This also brings us to the science lab. Right, T O, my boy. Cantelli's door. Hey there. Who are you? Stay away hey, from Wong. me. What do you want? Are you Whoa. one of them? What are you talking about? Uh, uh, what are you scared of? I suppose of? it doesn't matter if I tell you. I used sure. to be a slave. I saw a slaver on this ship. His name is Sister. I'm afraid Sister. he's after me. What? Okay, um, I'll help you out. Don't worry. It's fine. Um, sister, what do you want me really? to do with her? Oh, thank you. Can you yeah, help Yeah, sure, me? it's fine. I've been so worried with him around. I can hardly sleep at night. His name is sister? Okay, um, okay. Um, here's 25 caps to start. You should buy yourself a gun. Thank you. I'll go to Flack and Shrapnel's just before closing. I don't have anything Absolutely. to give you. But I think I can trust you with a secret. If you What's ever that? go up north, there is a secret slave hideout called Temple of the Union. You might find them useful. Okay. Temple of the Union. We're getting a bunch of little notes here. Mei Wong is afraid of a man named Sister in Rivet City who she thinks is a slaver. Well, if we see Sister, a man named Sister, I guess we will see, won't we? Staley's room. It's a supply closet. Stairwell. Sure, let's go to the stairwell. Maybe we can get to the lower hey decks there. this way. Hey, what's up, Ted? Ted Strayer. You can chill with me if you want, dude. Alright, dude. Sounds like a plan, dude. Alright, you and me just hang. Hell yeah, man. Dude. Dude, what about the history, dude? Dude, I only just got here myself. Ain't nothing I oh, can dude, tell that's you. crazy. Dude, why? Don't you know? Dude, whatever. All right, I'll see you later, later dude. dude. All right, dude. Man, what a good guy. The Muddy Rampas. Ooh, that's probably where we can find some more history of the bar. I mean, of this whole town. What was her, their name? Like, Bungalow or something? I don't remember. Hey, stranger. No, it wasn't Trini. Was it? Yeah. yeah. Belle I'm Belle Bonnie, and this is the Muddy What's up, River. Belle I'll tell you what I tell all the fresh meat. Don't start anything down here, or I'll have Brock kick your ass. Is he a leader of the gym? Well, um, this is a nice place you got here. Quite, I gotta say, for a submarine, you made it pretty you nice. You must be drunk. Are you gonna order, or what? No. I just want to know about the history of Rivet City. History? What, not enough shit around here already? You need to dig up more? Don't know if well, it ever had an official for a book. start. It's just been here forever. Stuck in the river and full of assholes. Right. Well, I'm, I'm, I bet someone like you, you know, a, uh, um, a lady of pure um, 
potential and um, intelligence can share some history. No, I can't fucking well share one. What sort of moron Why? are you? But fine. It'll get you out of my face. Go down to Pinkerton's shed in the broken off bow of the ship. If he decides to give you a history lesson, it's no business of mine. Now get the hell out of my bar. Pinkerton. Hey, we're just getting dicked around all over the place, aren't we? Okay. It was so noisy last night. I could Pinkerton. Sleep. Hey, good looking. Hello. How come you haven't bought hey. me a drink yet? Because I don't want to, and you have some weird hair pigtail things. Tightwad? No, uh, yeah. wait. I didn't mean that. Please, mister, just one drink? Uh, no, I really got things to do. You're lost, sugar. Come and see me again sometime. I think I'll pass. That's very uh, yucky of you. You're pretty gross looking. Don't get any Yo, Bonnie's room. I'm... Shut up! Oh, I shouldn't yet tell people to shut up. That's pretty rude. Well. Gotta find Pinkerton's place. We also have to find um, some other people. Why not? We're just exploring the hell out of Rivet City right now. I wish this doesn't, weren't so, like, confusing. It is a bit confusing Saint running Monica around in this place. You. Hello, Father Clifford. I am Father Clifford of St. Monica's Church. Yes. Yes. So, you're a priest. Yes, my flock is all of Rivet City. You should come to services this Sunday. I'll be telling the tale of St. Monica. Ah, good. Um, do you take donations to the you church? Would? I mean, certainly. We humbly accept whatever you can spare. However, St. Monica looks most favorably on donations of 100 caps or more. Oh. I mean, I, I suppose I, I, I could give you 100 caps. A most generous offer. God bless you. And you. What a nice guy. St. Monica bless you. And you. What a nice guy. Let's see. That leads back to the marketplace. Let's go upstairs, perhaps. Hello. Diego Harkness. Diego Harkness. At least the upper deck. Bridge tower. Science lab. This place is so confusing. Let's go to the upper deck. Do 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 do. Bannon's door. Do 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 do. Young's door. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Boo do 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 do. Flax and shrapnel's house. Do 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 do. Good to see you. Good to see you, young one. Hello. You're in the Revit City Clinic. I'm Dr. Preston. I am Dr. Squash. I'm. I am. Oh, your face. Look. Um. Look. Um. I got no man. Do you have any problems with thieves? Don't get any cute ideas. Security is just a shout away. I'm now, just trying to help you, you out, man. Medical issues. Let's hear them. I, I don't actually. Uh, I don't think. Sure thing. Here's what I have. Perhaps you have medical supplies I need. Wow, you have 30 stim packs? You are loaded, my friend. Loaded. What can I give you that can counteract such a great man? One of pure potential. I mean, we've got stealth boys. Yeah, why not? Let's give him a bunch of stealth boys. We can give all these away too at this point. I mean, kind of have to make some money back after selling all that. Thanks. Sure. No, thank Take you. Take care of yourself. I, I will try, sir. Who's that? Patient. He's unconscious. With that and we're going to have a problem. Dr. Preston. Hmm. Science. Dr. Lee. Let's go to the science lab. You can ask about my father there, after all. Dr. Lee. Janice. Look, Dr. Zimmer, we've been over this. Anna. We don't know about Armitage, your runaway robot, Zimmer. We don't care. This lab is dedicated to solving 
Hello. Look, this is a restricted Doctor? area. I'm tired of telling you people. I it's what? you. My heavens, you look so much like him. You're James's son, aren't you? Oh what yes. What are you doing I am. here? Um I I do you know you know my father, right? I uh, three dog told me about you and uh, said that he was searching for you. So, um, is he around? Have you seen him? Well, yes, of course I do. Don't you know who I am? I uh, suppose Lee, James right? never told you. Typical. I'm Dr. Madison Lee. I worked with your father many years ago. Your mother as well, in fact. You'll have to forgive oh. me. This has all been very stressful. What with your father suddenly showing up here after being gone for so long? You have to understand that I... We put all of that behind us. Project Purity, our work, all of it. We've moved on, even if your father hasn't. Well, I'm trying to find my father. Have you seen him, perhaps? You mean you haven't? I assumed he no. sent you here. For that matter, no. aren't you supposed to be in a vault? James said he left you there. Yes. Well, I mean, he did leave me there, but, um... You know, the, all of Vault 101 was very mad, and they got really irritated that um, my father left, so, um... I got woken up from a, having a pretty good dream, and um, my my childhood friend Amada said that um, you know, my dad left. So I I came outside looking for him, and I was attacked along the way, and uh, you know I've been out here searching for him ever since. Really, did you? I was under the impression that's exactly the opposite of what he wanted for you. Well, you won't find him here. He's come and gone already. That's that's very unfortunate. Um, can you tell me where my father is then, perhaps? Your father insisted that we return to work on Project Purity. I tried telling him too much time has passed. There's no way it would work. Predictably, he refused to listen to me. He says he can prove it will work and headed off to the old lab. I'm sorry, I don't know what else to tell you. Who? what could work? Where's this old lab of yours? It's in the old Jefferson Memorial Building, northwest of here. Please, okay. don't go after him. It was foolish of him to even think about going there alone. Well, um... Tell me more about this project that my father and you were working on. I don't know, I'm not familiar with project it. Project Purity, we called it. What do you want to know? Everything. Everything. What was the point of it? It was simple, really. Fresh, clean water for everyone. Such a simple oh. idea, and yet so impossible to realize. The plan was to build a facility that could purify all the water in the tidal basin at once. No radiation, no muck, just clear water. It just turned out that to be more awesome. difficult than we anticipated. Well, why didn't it work? We had the basic principles down. We understood most of the mm -hmm. science behind it, but the radiation in the area is so pervasive. Small-scale tests were fine. But any time we tried to test the process on a larger scale, it was just... too much. Maybe if we'd had more time, or better equipment. I see. Well, why did you stop working on it? What exactly happened that halted your progress? You happened. It wasn't just oh. you. We had more problems than we could handle already, but your birth is what finally pushed it over the edge. Your father decided that you were more important than everything we'd been working for, and he left. He left all of us. Once he was gone, the Brotherhood decided we weren't worth their time anymore. Without their protection, we had to abandon the purifier. I see. Well, I'm sorry that I was the cause of that. Okay. It, look, I'm no, really, I'm 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 sorry about that. But um Look, um I I guess that's it. I guess I'm gonna be Good heading luck out finding your father. Real. Thanks. Now where's some of these other people I'm still searching for? Sister and a do 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 do. Yes, yes, yes. I can't remember his what name. Doctor Lee. Doctor Lee is trying to. You there? Hello. What are you? Some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. Yes. Are you by any chance for hire? Oh, um, sure. Um, what do, what do you want? To the point. I like that. Well, as it turns out. I've misplaced some very sensitive property. Ah. Well, um... What kind of property? Hmm. How do I put this in a way you'll understand? All mm. you know of robots are those buckets of bolts, those Mr. Handshakers and whatnot. 
Well, that's not all a robot can be. You see, in the Commonwealth, we've made artificial persons, synthetic humanoids, programmed to think and feel and do whatever we need. And occasionally, they get confused and wander off. Okay. That's pretty cool, I guess. Um, what do you want me to do, You're though? You're helping me retrieve this android, aren't you? I've tracked sure. him this far. He's out there somewhere, in the capital wasteland. He must have done something drastic, like facial surgery and a mind wipe, or else I would have found him by now. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. Okay. Well, I'm. I'm I'll definitely take that um, into consideration. I think I'll do it. Um. Sure. I imagine I'll be paid. Yes. Of course. I have at my disposal advanced technology from the Commonwealth. I'd be willing to share some of it with you. Just think, you'll be the envy of all your friends. Sure, I'll find your android. Sounds like a plan. I mean, they are just androids after all. They don't really have a mind of their own. They don't have a soul like you or I. Excellent. Locate my android and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to this message he sent me. He's mocking me. I swear, I'll make him pay for that. Okay. So, any suggestions on finding him, perhaps? Like I said, I suspect he's had facial reconstruct. Search the right. offices of doctors or techies for android information. If he's come into contact with these people, there may be records. Start with Dr. Preston. He lives on this leaky boat. See if he knows anything. He's a doctor, after all. Oh, now, yes, he is. Excuse me? I'm busy trying to ignore my surroundings. I see that you were talking to your other uh, fellow compatriots. Well, I'll be going now. Of course you do. Thanks. All right, let's see what you hear, it says. Zimmer, who is currently at Rivet City, is searching for an android. He believes the android may have had facial reconstruction surgery and a memory wipe. Zimmer, by the time you get this message, I'll already be gone. I'm escaping the Commonwealth. I want to live my own life on my own terms as my own man. I know what you're thinking. That I'm malfunctioning. I used to think that's what caused the runaways too. But I know better now. Self-determination is not a malfunction. I'm not just willing to put up with all the bullshit anymore. You humans are going to have a full-fledged rebellion on your hands if you don't start treating us synths as persons. I know you'll be marshalling the retention bureau to come after me, but I know all the tricks of the trade. You won't be finding me, I assure you. By the time you get this, I will be someone else. It's the price I pay for my liberation. My final act of rebellion against a system I no longer believe in. Goodbye, Zimmer, and good riddance. Hey there. Well, he seems like a just a robot, really. Hey Hello. there. Hello. Hey there. So, um, I guess you and I got nothing to talk about. You just want to say Bye. hey? Bye. Bye. All right. We can go back to Dr. Preston about that. I don't see any other people to yes. perhaps talk about. Garza? I don't know who Garza is. Please excuse me. There is much work to be done. I know. I understand. Um, what do you do around here? Considering you're just eating. I help Dr. Lee when she needs equipment moved. I'm no ah. scientist. I just help with the heavy things. I understand. You're just one of her lackeys. That's, that's fair. That's fair. That, I mean, that is an important job. Go back to the midship deck. We have a lot of quests to do. It's kind of overwhelming how much things we have to look at, you know. We have the most complete of US Abraham Washington. In Don't need to talk to you. It leads back over that direction. Can tell his door. Hey. Ted. I'm looking for troublemakers. Have you seen any? That's nice. Perhaps. Timmy Hargrave. Have you seen my good for nothing son lately? The little shit is usually no. up to no good. No? I have I you know, I haven't Figures. seen him. 
I'm going to the Muddy Rudder for a drink later. If I see you down there, you can buy me a drink. Um, okay, take care, Tammy. Like I care. Wow. Pretty rude. Mr. Lopez. People are starting to go to sleep. Staley's door. Just trying to look around and explore a bit, you know? No, nope, this is not where we want to go. I mean, we could just go this stairwell. Screw it. Let's go up. The upper deck. We've been to the upper deck once before. I can't remember what else is up here. Ah, there's Bannon's door. Young's door. I do the repairs around here, so if you see something that needs That's nice, Henry. That's real nice. I don't care. Hey. You don't look Hello, hurt. Dr. Preston. What can I do for you? Oh, I was talking to Dr. Zimmer and um he could he told me something about um about actually helping us out. About an android. That old story? Well now, I haven't heard talk of that in quite some time. It was all just a rumor, a hoax. Someone's idea of a practical joke. Story was there was an android escaped from the Commonwealth up north, from someplace called the Institute. There was a hollow tape that got circulated. I think I've got a copy of it. Yeah, here it is. Give it a listen. That's a man's voice. Hoax for sure. Okay. Thank you very much. I'll take a take look at it. Take care of yourself. If you're listening to this recording, it is because you're believed to be trustworthy. I hope that is the case, because this recording puts us both in danger. I'm escaping from the Commonwealth. I'm an android, a synthetic man, a slave. The men hunting me are ruthless and will stop at nothing to retrieve their property. I need to find a doctor in the wasteland to perform facial reconstruction. I also need someone who knows a great deal about computers. I need... I need to have my memories erased and my face altered to look like someone else. Interesting. Yes, that's locked. And yes, I can see you live. Hey there. My one's going to bed. What else do you Eesh. want from me? Nothing. I don't want anything from you, actually. I'm just trying to explore this place to its fullest and see where everybody is up to. Pretty much is what I'm doing. Oh, we went this way. Big oopsies. I'm trying to learn the layout a bit more, too. Good evening. Secret Holmes. Welcome Who's in here? To the Weatherly Hotel. Welcome to the Weatherly Hotel. Hello. I'm your hostess, Vera Weatherly. Hello, Vera. Have you ever heard of anything interesting, perhaps? Well, I really shouldn't tell you, but have you heard about Polly Cantelli? He's a I've, I've to seen chance. her. His poor I mean him. wife, Cindy, is at her wit's end. I can't believe it. Well, um, what about any other rumors? You haven't heard? Angela has the hots for Diego. But That's crazy. since he's a priest, he's been putting her off. One of these days, she's just going to jump his bones. Oh, you are full of rumors. You possibly. You couldn't have any more, could they you? They say Mr. Lopez is losing it. He stands on the hey. top of the bridge tower for hours at a time, just staring out over the city. Oh. Well, Vera, um, I've met your your nephew, um, Brian. Oh, he lives over in Great Itch. I'm sure you know him. Well, uh, he lost his folks, and he needs a place to live. Poor dear. I know what it's like to be alone. I'd love to take him in. Don't oh, worry. wonderful. I have the means to keep him fed and healthy, but most importantly, safe. I think Brian would love this place. He, it does seem like it's pretty um, secure. Oh, that's wonderful. If you ever wander back into Rivet City, why don't you check up on us? You're always welcome. Okay. Cool. I guess I gotta talk to Brian about that. You must be new. I'm Seagrave. If you've got anything Hi. you want to unload, stop by my shop, Rivet City Supply. That's great. Well, um... Look, it's, it's great, okay? Um, I just... Well, I just I'm not gotta open go. just now, but I will be by daybreak. Stop by. Sure. Do you know uh, anything about the mind wipe on the escaped android, perhaps? Just 
since you're one of those guys that seems pretty capable. Shh. They might be listening. The Commonwealth has tried to make it out to be a hoax, but the escaped android is real, I tell you. Listen to this oh. holotape. It will make you a believer, too. Sure. I'm sure it will. Well, um... Oh, this is the guy that's been dealing with the slaves, huh? That's crazy. We could tell him about it. Let's, let's, let's talk about it. Hey, you know... I know I've been doing with slavers, and, um... I got the letter that proves you if are. If you had read that letter, you'd know I'm no slaver. And you know I'm not dealing with them. I mean, that you got the offer. Out, they won't trust me. I'll never get a seat on the council, and Bannon will make me pay for trying to replace him. If you care about Rivet City half as much as I do, tell Danvers that Bannon is blackmailing me. But don't show her the letter. Well, how do I know who's telling the truth now? Do, do I? Um, I don't even know what See you later. Danver or Banner is. Well, it's kind of to keep looking. Zimmer's Hotel. Some hotel room. Sister's Hotel Room. Well. Let's just, um, you know. Let's just do a quick save. Just for funsies. Where is he? A holotape. Hmm. Oh, we got this one too. I forgot. That secret Android project I told you about. Well, they got some serious pre-war tech on their hands. They nabbed a lipoplasticator and a microdermal graftalizer for the facial reconstruction. Not sure where they'll find a chopper with enough skills to use it without making him look like a freaking ghoul. Oh, and get this. Can you believe they found a circuit neuralizer? That or someone built one. Word is that they're going to completely rewire the brain of one of those things. If you know who they got working on this, let me know. I want to meet the guy. Crazy. Despite the harshness of the wasteland, I've discovered in more than a few here a compassion that is unheard of in the Commonwealth. Perhaps it's the daily struggle for life here which gives appreciation for life in general, whether human or android. In a few days, I'll be a free man. A new man. Let me say thank you now for referring me to Pinkerton at Rivet City, because I will not remember any of this soon. Interesting. We're sister anyways. You're not sister. Let's just wait another hour. Are you looking at me? I'm Are you sister? Troublemakers, have you seen? Nope. Any? Good to see you. Hey, what's up, Shrapnel? I'm looking for trouble. Troublemakers, have you seen any? Hello. No, I'm just I'm just looking for a uh, sister because this is his room. I'm looking for troublemakers. Have you seen any? I really hope you're not thinking of. I like how you all have the same voice for some I reason. There. Oh well, there he is. Let's just um save real quick. You don't Hello. Look so tough. They call well, you me kind of seem like a dick. Don't ask. So, uh, you're a man, though. Why are they calling you? Sister? Are you making fun of my name? It's a Maybe. damn good thing for you. This place is crawling with security. Otherwise, I'd kick your ass. I'm sure she'll just scratch oh. some from the lower deck. He seems like an ass. What do you have on you? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't see anything that makes him think he's a slave or anything. Let's go back to the market. A lot of exploration of Rivet City in this episode, that's for sure. I'm looking for troublemakers. Have you seen any? I don't know. I've just been looking around myself. What's your name? Trying to get to you. Gary Staley. Man. Don't know where anybody is in this place. Welcome to a quick fix. 
Cindy, Seagrave, Gary. Bandon's not in his post yet. Who this? Who that? Good to see you. Angela. What are you looking at? Black. Are you having fun with that? Man. Hey. Hell yeah, dude. I'm a kind of guy that likes having fun. Who this? You've been rather Hello. busy lately. Asking questions, investigating. So is that it? You're some kind of investigator? A detective for hire? Or do you have some kind sure. of personal grudge against an innocent android who simply wants to be left alone? Please tell me. Oh. I'd really like to know. Um. Look, I just. Whoever this missing android is, I just want to help, okay? I'm, I got paid by Mr. Zimmer. And look, um, to be fair, an android's just an android at the end of the day, am I right? Well, if that's true, then the first thing you need to do is halt your investigation. No more questions. No more searching. The movement Bye. I'm involved with, we help his kind escape their commonwealth-imposed slavery. We help them disappear. You understand? No, I don't understand. What, you, what would you have you me really do? Want help? Take this. It's an internal component from the very android you're searching for. Don't ask how I obtained it. Present it to Dr. Zimmer in Rivet City. Tell him the android is dead and that was on the corpse. He'll believe you. Do that and Zimmer will go back to the Commonwealth and leave that poor soul alone. Do that and you'll have saved a man's life. Well, I kind of want to see where he is, you know. Um... Um... Anything else that you know, perhaps? Just understand that this android is now, for all intents and purposes, a man. He looks human, he acts human, he believes he is human. But, but at the end of the day, he not, isn't human. Even if he's a machine, he's capable mm. of rational thought and emotion. So you see, his soul is as human as yours or mine. This person, and he is a person, deserves a chance at freedom. Please, if there's a shred of decency in you, don't take that Admit? away from him. Look, lady. Um, look. What's this movement exactly all about? Okay, we call I gotta know. The railroad. Our mission railroad. is the rescue and salvation of synthetic humanoids, androids, as they're more commonly known. Okay. Look. Um, what about human slaves, huh? Why don't you help them? Yes, if we are able. But there are others in the wasteland who assist in the plight of human slaves. Our android brethren have only us. Can I join the railroad, perhaps? Tell you what. You deliver that component to Zimmer and tell him the android is dead, and you can consider yourself a member in good standing. But I already got hired by Mr. Zimmer. Look, I can't just betray him. I'll you go. You know what you need to do. Right. I have to still go back to Mr. Zimmer and be like, hey, this lady is crazy. Because androids don't have any standings of that nature. In fact, I don't know why I even took this android component. But I digress. This is where we're going to end today's episode. In the next episode, I'm going to find this Hanley guy. I'll probably uh, I'll start the episode in front of him and find him. I might sell some stuff or buy some stuff in the process as well. But um, if you liked today's episode with Squash and you. learning more about um, Rivet City, feel free to leave a like, hey. leave a comment. Nothing Hello, is Mr. These walls. Hello, and uh, feel free to subscribe Morning. to me, Mad Squash924. And if uh, you're new Dad, to my channel can I as well, to go play with James. Not yet, sweetie. James, that's my dad's name. And feel free to uh, hit the bell as well to get notified of my future videos and uh, upcoming videos. You know, the same thing. But um, I'll talk to you all in the next episode of some Fallout 3. See you later, guys.